Hi, and welcome to another exciting episode of Inside the Cage. I'm your host, Danny Lopez. Working alongside me is uh, Mike Phillips handling the calendar section. He's going to bring you all the uh, fight results of the last two weeks, as well as the future events coming up and MMA news. We're going to do a Q&A session with Joe Stevenson, and uh, we're really excited because we just got a brand new set, and we'd like to get your input on what you think of our set. Also, when you do uh, log in to www mvpproductions.tv and you do check out the different uh, uh, episodes one two and three we'd appreciate it if you go on to the like link if you like the show and click on the thumbs up that way we get a little bit more uh, boost to our show okay so having said that welcome back as we take you inside the cage Mike Phillips and I'm hosting the calendar section of Inside the Cage. Tonight we will be going down to a Bama Bad Beat Night event held at the Commerce Casino in Commerce, California. Uh, we're going to be going early, excited. There's going to be a red carpet event. There's going to be celebrities, some UFC fighters down there. So if you're in the area, go check out that event. On June 1st, I have three events I'll be talking about. The first one is a Spar Star Promotions event held at the Hollywood Park Casino in Inglewood, California. We also have Coliseum Combat Event held in Kokomo, Indiana. And Inside a Cage will be taking a road trip to Laughlin, Nevada for a King of the Cage Future Legends 15 event. There's eight guys on the fight card that I write for the local newspaper representing the Total Training Center in Apple Valley, California. We have Gerald Harvey and David Hernandez. Also, there'll be six guys representing Joe Stevenson's Cobra Kai in Victorville, Oscar Fuentes, Nick Reber, Michael Sanchez, Roberto Hernandez, Jesus Moreno, and Rodolfo Larius. On June 6, we have a Fight Night OC event held at the Hangar in the Orange County Fairgrounds in Costa Mesa, California. On June 15th, we have UFC 161 in Winnipeg, Canada, Dan Henderson versus Rashad Evans. On June 17th, we have a KF1 World MMA competition held in Seoul, South Korea. On June 29th, we have a Sparta Combat League event, and it will be held in Colorado. On June 30th, we have a Gladiator Challenge event held at the Saboba Casino in San Vicente, California. July 5th, at a King of the Cage event, uh, there's a fighter on that card named Joe Condon. I've been covering him for the local newspaper for years. He's fighting for the 160-pound title belt. The event will be held in Manila, Philippines. On July 6th, we have UFC 162 in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, Cub Swanson is on that fight card. He's one of my favorite fighters. I've been covering him for years. We wish him the best. I'd like to thank all the promoters for emailing me, texting me your event. Uh, keep doing that. Uh, we'd like to get your event on future episodes of Inside the Cage. And if you would like your event uh, on the calendar section, you can email me at mike at highdesertmma.com. Hey, before we go any further, I'd like to thank a few people who have helped us out along the way. I'd like to thank David Placentia over Graphics Lab for providing us with some of our promotional items. I'd like to thank Ernie Garcia over at Essential Home Builders, Inc. I'd like to also thank Steve Hill with Liquid Nitro. And I'd also like to thank Joe Stevenson and Mike Phillips for the valuable contribution to the show week after week. But most importantly, I'd like to thank you, the fans, for tuning in. Without an audience, we don't have a show. It's as simple as that. So we appreciate you tuning in every week. So let's get back to the show. Thank you again. Welcome back to Inside the Cage. I'll be talking about some results that happened last weekend. Friday, May 24th, at a disorderly conduct event in Nebraska, Marcus Edwards defeated UFC veteran Dakota Cochran by rear naked choke. A minute 49 into round one. This sets up a title fight for Marcus Edwards that we'll be talking about in a future episode. Last Saturday, May 25th, Inside the Cage took a road trip to Las Vegas, Nevada to watch a King of the Cage Future Legends 14 event. Leo Augury defeated Jaime Coronado by rear naked choke 2 minutes and 22 seconds into round 1. Chris Shirley defeated Adrian Barty by a 3 round unanimous decision. Sean Simchek defeated Jonathan Noriega by rear naked choke a minute 36 into round two. K1 
Casa Williams defeated Christian Cardona by guillotine choke, 2 minutes and 34 seconds into round 1. JJ Torres defeated John Flores by TKO, a minute 26 into round 2. Jordan Salvador defeated Ramon Harigi by TKO, 2.46 into round 3. Dell Jackson defeated Justin Hernandez by guillotine choke, 2.46 into round 2. And in the King of the Cage amateur light heavyweight title, Jonathan Wilson defeated LJ Torres by TKO, 2 minutes and 39 seconds into round 2. And that concludes the King of the Cage Future Legends 14 event. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for this week's edition of Inside the Cage. On behalf of myself and my two co-hosts, Joe Stevenson and Mike Phillips, we want to thank you for tuning in. Before we close out the show, however, we want to give a shout out to Maia Kahaunaele, who's going to be taking on Rachel Cummings in tomorrow's professional female bout that takes place in the city of Costa Mesa at The Hangar. For more information on tickets or directions, you can contact them at www.fightclubOC.com. Both myself and Joe Stevenson will, will be working my ears corner, so we hope to see you there. Please stop by and say hello. Until next time, we tell you to keep punching, kicking, grappling until we take you back inside the cage. <laughs>